He's just Joe. Joey, I don't know however you want to say his name, but. Same old dude. That's what's good about it. It's fitting that Joe Burrow is considered the leading candidate in the race for the Heisman Trophy, because that's what he's always been, a leader. The same way he makes football look effortless, the same way he never forces throws on the field, the same way he seems to be at his coolest when the heat of the moment reaches its highest. It's the same way he's always led his teammates. No one prepares more than Joe. No one cares more than Joe. And no one wants to win more than Joe. It was almost prophetic in nature in, in that he doesn't even try to lead and other people follow him. There's something unique about him really makes the people around him want to aspire to do better as well. I, I think a lot of it has to do with his ability to prepare. There was never going to be anybody that outworked him, which I think the kids noticed, and I think is still Joe today, uh, which is, shoot, the best way to be a leader. The other kids follow him. Uh, he's a great leader. He doesn't even try to be a leader, and he is. Uh, it just comes natural to him, and I said his IQ is out of this world. And I think that that's you know, how he ends up dealing with the pressure of big games and always, always had his best games when, it, when the most was on the line. He doesn't let it affect his performance, and you can see it in his eyes. There's that flat, poised, all business sort of thing. Whenever Joe said in the huddle, Coach, can I say something? I always say, absolutely. Joe has never said much. He's a walker, not a talker. And he's a winner. The basement of his childhood home in the Plains is basically a giant walk-in trophy case, a testament to a lifelong addiction to victory. For Joe, the hardware isn't the goal. It's the product of collective success. Every trophy in that basement belongs to the teammates who happily follow Joe into the battlefields where they were claimed. Once again, he, he likes to win, and he likes to win th these, these awards and these trophies. and. Uh, but everything in here is a, is, a, is a team award, and he would be the first to tell you that. I, I know Joe uh, loves that offensive line, and, and uh, he, you know would tell you that again. Without without that group being what they are and who they are, then uh, he couldn't be doing what he's doing right now. There are two Joe Burrows. There's the cool, calm, collected Joe, the prepared surgeon whose hand never shakes at the operating table. Then there's the heated competitor, the fiery-eyed flamethrower, the guy who's never better than when he's just been knocked down. Two sides of the same coin, two separate paths to inevitable victory. He does change personalities when, when he's on the football field, just being such a competitor and wanting to win. We got second in a, a baseball tournament. Joe gets home and we go up to his room and, and about an hour afterwards and he had dismantled the second place trophy. Yeah, he is. He, we never ever had to worry about him being nervous. We never ever had to worry about him being prepared. We never ever had to worry who was gonna take the shot. If the ball's in uh, Joe's hands um, at crunch time, you just know he's gonna get it done. You just know he's gonna finish. He instills that kind of confidence in people, in his teammates, in, in his fans. Um, you just know he's going to get it done. Burrow is at his best when his back is against the wall. He never forgets a loss. Intercept his pass, and he'll make you pay, throwing your way the rest of the game. Hit him, and he'll hit you back. Harder. Beat him? If you're lucky enough to do that, prepare yourself. Because Joe Burrow is coming, and he ain't backing down. And then you hit him, and he pops right up. He's one of the toughest quarterbacks I've seen in college in, in several years. So I, I think Burrow could very easily be the first overall pick. He'd get hit, and he kind of seems like he likes it. Every single game, if you go back to second or third play, he was going to carry the ball to make sure that he either scored to get jacked up or, or somebody tackled him. I think that's a, a great thing for quarterbacks. Get, get him in there, get him in the mix, get him popped. and. He was like a different man after that. I think he can channel that frustration into positive energy, really. I, you know, I, I think that he definitely um, internalizes things a little bit, but uses it in a po positive way. I, I know he, you know, he looks forward to three games this year, probably more than any, and that's Florida. <laughs> uh, 
Alabama and A&M. And the thing that I told all those coaches that came in here to see Joe is I said, I don't think there's a better thing to say about a kid other than this. That's the son of a bitch you don't want on that other sideline because yeah. he's going to find a way to beat you. Yeah.